Hey, this is Zach with Low Brass U, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the mouthpieces that I actually play. A while back, I made a video about my entire mouthpiece collection, and while it was fun to talk about all of my mouthpieces, I can really only play one at a time. I thought a more helpful video would be to talk about the actual mouthpieces that I play on a regular basis. Mouthpieces are always a hot topic, and while I do think they matter, it is more important to realize that they're not everything. You'll get more out of practicing consistently than spending a bunch of money on a mouthpiece. I hope that this video is helpful to watch and can serve as a reference in the future to anyone who might be curious to watch. I play. I've been a Denniswick artist for about four years now and I've been a fan for much longer than that. In fact, here's my first Denniswick mouthpiece that I ever bought, a Heavy Top 6PL. I don't use it much anymore, but I still have it and it's still a great mouthpiece. Now let's get into all the mouthpieces that I play regularly from biggest to smallest. First up is a classic 1XL, which has been my go-to mouthpiece for C-Tuba since 2017. It is the largest mouthpiece in the main line, but is not comically oversized. I've really enjoyed using this mouthpiece, but I tend to recommend something just slightly smaller for most younger players. On F-Tuba, I use a classic 2. For most tubas, you would need a 2L variant, but my F-Tuba has a smaller receiver. My F-Tuba also has a smaller bore than many F-Tubas, and the two helps settle some of the low range that can be sometimes a bit touchy. I've always wanted to try more mouthpieces from Denniswick and other companies with this tuba, but because of the small receiver, most everything else would have to be custom. Only five of Denniswick's mouthpieces come in this receiver size. I do like this combination for a lot of my playing, but something smaller might be a little bit more appropriate for some situations. I use a Heritage Zero AL for bass trombone, and I've been using it since I bought my bass trombone during my freshman year of college. I've tried other mouthpieces like a Classic 1 AL for extended periods of time, but always seem to find my way back to this mouthpiece. I have a lot of bass trombone friends who prefer playing something smaller, but many of those mouthpieces didn't seem to work as well for me. Mouthpieces are probably the most personal part of equipment choices. It's helpful to see what other people are playing, but at the end of the day, you have to try it for yourself. I've been playing a 3AL on Euphonium for about five years, and I've liked it, but I might be ready to try a smaller mouthpiece. While some Euphonium players prefer larger mouthpieces like the 3AL, I think more players prefer something slightly smaller. At some point, I will likely switch to something in the 4 range, but I haven't made the jump just yet. On large bore tenor trombones, I play a 5BL Classic series, but I probably swap this mouthpiece out the most, and I likely will be making a change in the future. For all of my collegiate and professional playing on a large bore, I've always played a 5 of some kind. But like on Euphonium, I might try out a 4, and maybe that ends up being the same mouthpiece on both Euphonium and trombone. I always try to play the mouthpiece that I thought was the best on each instrument, but I'm now starting to accept the possibility that that could be the same mouthpiece for both trombone and euphonium. Lastly are the two small shank mouthpieces that I play. I use both a Heritage 7CS and a Classic 12CS for medium and large bore tenor trombones. If I had to choose, I'd probably play the 7CS, but the 12CS is helpful to me when I'm playing commercial music and want a really bright sound almost all of the time. I can use the 7CS for much of the same type of work, but at least for me, it's not naturally quite as bright. I find the 7CS to be much more well-rounded and allows me to play in several different musical situations. Almost all of the jazz playing I've done, at least in the last three or four years, has been on this mouthpiece. I also use the 12CS when I'm playing alto, but I haven't explored as many options for alto. I hope this video helps or at least gives some insight on why I play the mouthpieces that I do. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and click the bell for more daily videos. And if you want to support Low Brass U, check out the merch store or consider joining the Patreon.